Up first this evening, residents of the Jakes Road community of Mountain View Avenue, St. Andrew, are again calling for the police to act swiftly to restore law and order in the area. The community has been tense for several weeks due to an ongoing feud between rival gangs from Goodrich Lane and Jakes Road. TVJ's Anthony Log reports. The recent flare-up in the Mountain View area heightened on October 4 after Bobby Perry, a resident of Goodwich Lane, was shot and killed. On that day, residents of Goodwich Lane expressed concern. About five weeks now, we are live with them. I come down Pan Byron Road and a fire shot down Pan Goodwich Lane. And look how far Byron Road, Goodwich Lane is from Jake's Road. Things have since took a turn for the worse. Two residents of Jake's Road have been killed. One on the grounds of the Norman Gardens Primary and Junior High School and the other at a doctor's office on Deanery Road, St. Andrew. When we visited the community recently, the residents were fearful. People there at school, at work, I work them honest bread, and I go go into the schoolyard and kill pe people in front of people that can't save. Oh, that for save. A church left next to them come take way out. They are tormented to Donia, we don't see them. There have been much back and forth between residents of both communities as to how it all started, who's responsible, and when will it end. Security presence has since increased as law enforcers try to maintain order in the space. On Thursday, National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang said decisive steps will be taken to tackle gangs in the area. While that's being done, investigations continue. But the police have raised issue with the lack of cooperation from the residents. We know people, see, like all them know the people, they remember for come in, come get information. Because if we know it, we want to live safe. So if we know them, we are going to bring them forward because we want to live safe. We want to know so we are going to go about our business. We want to look over our shoulder. We want to be safe. We want to see it stop because they don't make no sense. They might kill innocent people. Anthony Log, TVJ News. Meanwhile, the police say the imposition of a curfew in sections of East Kingston is to prevent the likelihood of reprisals for Wednesday's fatal shooting of Clifton Brown of Jakes Avenue. Four other persons, including a pregnant woman and her child, were injured in the incident. The curfew started about 6 o'clock yesterday evening and will remain in effect until 6 p.m. on Monday. Head of the Kingston Eastern Police Division, Senior Superintendent Victor Hamilton, spoke with our news center. The curfew has been extended because the... We believe that there is still remains the threat of gangsters going against each other. So it is for containment and for the protection of the citizens in the Mountain View area and to ensure that there isn't an outbreak of violence 